Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and friends with Anubhav. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Today's class, we are continuing with Lesson 7, Larger the Posh. This is the Part 4 video. Part 1, Part 2, Part 3 of Larger the Posh. And all the other videos based on this textbook are present in the playlist titled Origin Class 9. The link to the playlist is given in the description below. We stopped in page number 90, midway. Uh, in my previous video, so today we are to start with question number four, with regard la publicity. So look at the advertisement. There's an advertisement given here for a car. It's a black color car, I suppose. Yes, it's a black color car. Let's read its information. A wanderer for sale. Peugeot 3000 Vite. Or you can say 300 Beat. It's the model and brand of the car. It's a Peugeot 3008. Information General. General information is given in the advertisement about the car. So, Anne, the meat these. So, it was bought in 2010. Kilometrage. Kilometrage is mileage. So, it is. No, it's not mileage. Kilometrage, basically it's the uh, amount present in the odometer. Odometer is what? Which tells the distance it has traveled. So it has traveled 63 mil kilometer. It has traveled 63,000 kilometers. Number of the port, <coughs> number of doors, sank port, two at the left, two at the right, one at the back. <coughs> Boat de vitesse, gearbox, mechanic. So the gearbox is mechanic and it's not automatic. Energy, it is diesel. Uh, mise en circulation. So this car was released in these my the me these tenth of March two thousand ten. Couleur interior cuir gris. So the color from inside, the interior is gray. Color exterior, the exterior color, noir metal. The black, the metal black color. Pre, the price. It is the set me 500 euro. 17,500 euros, you can have this car. Merci de contacter. Thanks for contacting Sophie Modern, okay, Sophie Modern is the name of the seller. The number given is 03, or simply in the French manner, let's read it. 3, 45, 23, 68, 87. It is 03-45-23-78-97. Rempli les Blancs, moving towards page number 91. Rempli les Blancs à l'aide de du doc. So with the help of the document given above, you need to do the question. Example is given. Quel est la mark? The set what you what is the brand of this car? Peugeot or Peugeot, if you pronounce it in the French manner, Peugeot. So in this blank you need to write the information and here you need to write the uh, Adjective interrogative or the interrogative adjective. There's a complete video of this topic, adjective interrogative. It's a must watch. The link is in the description. First, some model that the dash anne. This model is of which year? First of all, anne is feminine singular, so kel, and of which year? 2010. Second, set what you kel kilometrage a tel fe. So, how much distance it has traveled? Kilometrage is uh, mentioned here also. Yes, kilometrage. I suppose it's masculine singular. So, it's Kel here. And it is 63,000 km kilometers or 63 mil kilometer. Set what you rule, so dash energy. Energy, feminine, singular. So first of all, we need to write Kel here. 
Now, what's the fuel used in the car? It's diesel. So here we will write diesel. The dash cooler, il interior de cette voiture. What is the color of the interior of this car? It's queer gris, a shade of gray. Quel, being feminine, singular. Dash et le prix. Quel est le prix? Prix, singular, masculine. So, quel. And what's the price? 17,500 euros or 17,500 euros. Je révise ce que je viens d'apprendre. So, I revise all those things which I just learned. À toi, réponds pas des phrases négatives en employant « ne pas, ne pas encore »,« ne personne, ne rien, ne plus ». Do this exercise using negative phrases like « ne pas » or « not yet » or « not » or « nobody » or « nothing » or uh, « no more ». So, for this, you need to watch the negation video and negative expression video. Okay. First one. Tes copains, your friends, est-ce qu'ils déjeunent souvent avec toi à la cantine? Do they take their lunch often with you in the canteen? Answer will be no. Il ne déjeune. Blue. A la canteen. They don't take lunch with me in the canteen anymore. Second, avez-vous déjà vu le film Titanic? Have you already watched the film Titanic? No. Déjà's negative is pas encore. So je n'ai pas encore vu. La film Titanic. Third, est-ce que vous te pèl nage tous les jours? Uh, does your father swim every day? Uh, tous les jours or toujours? In this context, I would say negative should be. Uh, ne jamais. But since ne jamais is not available in the given option, I think we should use ne plus, that he does not swim anymore. No. You can simply say il or mon père, il ne nage plus. Jamais will also work. Fourth, aimez-vous les mathématiques? This is a simple statement which needs a simple negation. So, ne, no, je n'aime pas les mathématiques. It's a long word, I'm not writing. Mathematics. Fifth, vous habitez toujours à Mumbai? Again, it's the same as the previous one. Tous les jours, previous to previous one, tous les jours and toujours. You can either write Jami, you can either write Plu, both will be fine. Since Jami is not an option, you may go for Plu, but Jami is also not wrong. Blue can also come, Jame can also come. Like I never lived in Mumbai or I no longer live in Mumbai. Both will do. Sixth, il y a quelqu'un à la maison. Is there anyone in the house? No, il n'y a personne à la maison. There's nobody in the house. No. Il n'y a 
personne à la maison. Remplace par le, la, el apostrophe, le, lui, and le. We have, you may watch my Pono personal videos. And COI and COD videos. This topic will be very much clear to you. Let's do it quick. First one is already solved, so we have to start with second. Uh, quand il faut conduire les enfants à l'école, c'est moi qui les conduis. When he, when it's a must to drive the students to school, it is me who takes them. So, les enfants, enfants, basically, is replaced by les. So, first one is les. It's already solved. Second, quand il faut consoler le bébé qui pleure. When you are consoling a child who is crying, c'est moi qui, le cons qui console. It's me who console, but you console who? The baby. So it's le here. Third, quand il faut réparer la machine à laver, c'est moi qui dash fait réparer. When? Uh, it has to, the, the machine needs to get repaired. The washing machine needs to get repaired. Who repairs it? It's I. It's me who repairs it. So, la. Because washing machine is feminine. Quand il faut aider Anna à faire ses devoirs. When I help Anna in doing homework. C'est moi qui dash aid. It's me who help. So you help in doing what? A faire ses devoirs. L apostrophe. Second. Oh, it's the fifth one. Sorry. Quand il faut téléphoner au dentiste? When it needs to telephone to the student, to the dentist. C'est moi qui dash téléphone. Okay. O dentist. Dentist preceded by O. O means two. Two is a preposition. So it's a C-O-I. Here we will use ki. Lui, lui, lui. Sorry, I wrote ki, ki. It's lui. Quand il faut parler à l'institutrice d'Anna, when it needs to talk to the teacher of Anna, who talks? It's me who talks. So, c'est moi qui, again, lui parle. As I discussed, we are not using this pronoun as a pronotonique, pronopersonal here, we, uh, pronotonique here, right? We are not using as pronotonique. We are using as pronopersonal. So, be it, the person be feminine, institute this. Still, we need to write lui. Quand il faut écrire à nos amis, c'est moi qui dash écrire. A nos amis. Uh, I would say, faire ses devoirs. It's right. In the fourth one, it's ses devoirs. Homeworks. It's in plural. So I will go for LES. It would be better. And here, le écrit. A nos amis replaced by le. It's a COI for third person plural. Je n'en peux plus. C'est moi qui a toutes les responsabilités. De la famille. It is not much as I am the one who has all the responsibilities of the family. Wow. Okay, so Madame Martin is saying, okay. Oh, okay. Louis and both questions, both remaining questions are of uh, this. Pono personal only. One is COI, one is COD. Okay, no problem. Basically, first one is indirect object and second one is direct object first. This is question number three, page number 92. Répond en utilisant lui ou le. So reply by utilizing lui ou le. Est-ce que tu as parlé du spectacle à tes parents? Did you talk about the show to, the, to your parents? Oui. 
like yes or no is also given in the statement only so you need to do it accordingly je le e parle du spectacle second est-ce que cette histoire a plu aux enfants so aux enfants needs to be replaced question is uh, the answer needs to be negative so no cette histoire ne le a pa plu but what i think is that it should be play instead of plu there's a wrong past participle it's a misprint so i believe it should be play third est ce que tu as téléphoné au directeur did you telephone to the director answer needs to be no so no je ne lui ai pas téléphone perfect fourth est-ce que tu as fait un cadeau à ta sœur did you get a gift to your sister answer should be in v so v je lui ai fait un cadeau i gave her a gift fifth est-ce que le professeur a expliqué la leçon aux étudiants uh, did the professor explain the lesson to the professor yes he did so v le i'm adding in short due to space constraint le prof le a expliqué la leçon could have been it the combined question of coi and cod it would have been like la ler la la to remove la leçon but here we are doing it for lui and ler only so la leçon will continue to be like this the last question of this chapter question number 4 Répond en utilisant le, la, elle apostrophe et les. Basically, the direct object pronouns. So, first one. Vous voulez monter le, la tour Eiffel. You want to climb the Eiffel Tower. Yes. Je veux la monter. Tour Eiffel is feminine. So, la. Tu comprends les poèmes de Victor Hugo? Do you understand the poems of Victor Hugo? Answer has to be no. So no. Je ne les comprends pas. Comprends is the verb comprendre, which means to understand. Third, vous trouvez cette histoire drôle? Do you find this story funny? Uh, yes. Je les trouvé. Drôle. Fourth, tu vois toujours ton copain Paul, Paul. Do you visit your friend Paul all the time? No. Je ne le vois toujours. Negative counterpart, jamais. I never visit my friend. Or I no longer visit my friend. You could say, uh, je ne le vois plus. Est-ce que tu as consulté le dictionnaire? Do you consult to dictionary? Oui. Je l'ai consulté. No option left because AI begins with a vowel. So it has to be an apostrophe. As the object replaced, the noun replaced is singular. C'est tout pour aujourd'hui. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel on French with Adolf. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write it in the comment section below. Lesson 7, Lounge of the Porsche is completed. See you in Lesson 8, Part 1. Thanks for watching. Au revoir, n'oubliez pas que la langue française, l'amour.